Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, my amendment would ensure that we're placing a higher priority on completing some ongoing rural water projects in the Great Plains region and in the West. My amendment takes $15 million from the Department of Energy's administration budget and $15 million from the solar energy programs. $25 million of this would go into the Bureau of Reclamation's rural water projects. The remaining $5 million would go and be left for deficit reduction. Mr. Chair, I recognize that we have limited funds to go around, and this is why we need to work so hard to make sure that our priorities are addressed. It's why we make sure that we can agree that water should be a priority, that drinking water for people that live in this country should be a priority. There are places in this country, especially in the rural areas, that people are still waiting for a stable water supply. There are towns that would like to grow, but they don't have enough water or basic infrastructure to businesses and bring new families in. They're waiting for the federal government to complete projects that have already been authorized, that have already been started, and that those communities have already invested in. As we go through the appropriations process, I think supplying our rural water, our rural areas with water should be a top priority. I think it's shocking. It's shocking that some of these authorized projects have been waiting years to see the promised federal dollars to complete the projects. Many of these local communities have already funded their share of the projects. Some of the administration's funding proposals for these projects don't even keep up with inflation. It's not an infl it's so as representatives, we absolutely need to be uh, responsible with taxpayer dollars. When the federal government makes a promise to provide basic infrastructure, they need to follow through. This amendment's just a small step in getting where we need to be. It's common sense to make sure that something as basic as water supply is available in all areas, urban and rural. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on the amendment to ensure that these very essential projects are on their way to completion. I'd like to thank the chairman and the committee for their hard work on this bill. I certainly appreciate the opportunity to speak on this amendment, and I would urge all of my colleagues to support this amendment. And with that, Mr. Chair, I would yield back.